Looking at around, uh, it's almost arrow straight with a little left-right shimmy. Sigan spotting it, knowing that that roundabout is there. And suddenly seeing that there's a division in the road. Watch this. Whoa! How's about that for setting your stall out? Uh, roundabout. It means that around and uh, Nibali have to go the long way without having such skills. And Sagan has kept something in reserve. Uh, nervous, just has a check over his shoulder. Around does exactly the same. Eight seconds now. Uh, underneath the Flam Rouge. What have these guys got there? Are oh, the pursuers? Could they get them? Will they get them? Well, uh, still, they're just waiting. Uh, both Oran and Nibali, knowing that Sagan has perhaps got something left here. Sagan, just a question of when he's going to go for this one. And will he have enough power? Of course he will. In the back end, but uh, Oran, possibly the least favorite of this trio. Nibali, well, how much work have they done? That's the question, and particularly on that last roundabout. Still he looks back, still Sagan looks, and still doesn't want to reach out and take it. Well, is he playing with us? Left and right, he weaves, not wanting to offer any aero assistance. And the pack are absolutely right there. And with some uh, decent sprinters as well on board. Some good GC boys like uh, Rob Jestink as well for, for uh, uh, Belkin Pro Cycling. And suddenly Sagan decides to reach out and go for it. Who will it be that can match him here? Nibali almost gives up, uh, waiting for the packet by the looks of things. But it's going to be Sagan. Oh, and how about that?